<laughs> so, um, I think it's sunny. It was really cold. I didn't have any more uh, propane last night, so somebody had given me a little stove thing. thing. So I had the stove on a few times to warm up, but it was pretty cold last night. Uh, I'm hoping to get some propane today. Uh, I can. Um, uh, if not, I'm going to have to freeze again <laughs> until it's uh, I got the money to buy the propane can. Thanks. Somebody's supposed to bring me, bring me one. I'm hoping that, 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 comes, that comes through. If it doesn't, then I freeze until he does, I guess. Or well, until next Monday. There's one thing that, that keeps on bothering me about, about my existence in this, this, this lifetime that I lived. It's not really a lifetime, but for me personally, but it's, it's, uh, it, it is in, 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 in when you can understand it. Um, I never felt that my family was, was my blood family. It's not just because, you know, I, you know, I don't even like them and whatever. It was always something about this whole situation didn't make sense to me. See, the, see when, when I, I, as a programmer, I, I, I'm, I'm a Virgo, so, so I must, I must, that, that thing must be a Virgo, I think it's a Mercury, it's, it's a ruling planet, uh, 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 high thought and communication, and it, and it, and it, it allows me to see a situation and say, this is wrong, you know, uh, or it's done wrong, or, there's nothing about it that isn't right, I used to look at applications, as a program, I used to look at uh, uh, applications, and, and, and fix them, you know, that other people wrote, you know, software that other people wrote, uh, by looking at it and then, you know, and then understanding what it's supposed to do and seeing what it did and understanding, hey, that it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. The results aren't the same. And that's why everybody's complaining about it. So, I can fix it. That's what I did. And, a lot, a lot, and then it was new applications that I built, but a lot of it was that too, which is just going into like, Companies that you know, somebody wrote a piece of software and then, and then left, and then you know, these guys have no idea how to what to do with it, and, and it's coming up with all these errors and bugs, and, and you know, here I here they hire me, and I, uh, yeah, it's probably, oh, not really written very well. You should maybe write, you should maybe do a new one. No, we can't afford to know any budget. We have to fix this one. Like, okay, that's it. We never fixed, you know, hundred percent. This is a program. I mean, I, 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 I like. I, I went back into my life, right? And you know, you know, people that say, like, you know, I tell people, people I, I don't think my family, like, oh, that's just you're crazy, man. Or, or you know, you know, you you need to go to rehab. It's those drugs you're doing, you know. It's like, first of all, it's plant medicine, and the plant medicine uh, in your mind, what it's doing is is that it's that it's that it's. Uh, you know, something distorting your your perception of what reality is, and, and it's and it's actually you know making you hallucinate and see these things that that, that you're know, being paranoid that this family your family is, but they're really not. No, that's not the case with me. First of all, the plant medicine I take, it does the opposite. It actually makes me see a little bit clearer. I've been doing it for most of my life. I've been doing it since the age of fourteen. I mean, yeah, I stopped at certain points in my life, but but consistently since the age of 14 I've been using plant medicine and it has helped me expand my mind and open myself up to enough to, to, to see what it is uh, and what I am and what and what, what, what what doesn't make sense in the situation I, I did great at work I mean they pay me they pay me good fucking money man <laughs> upwards of, sometimes upwards of, of $150 an hour So when I look at my life and I see the situation that, that, that I grew up in and, 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 and try to, you know, you know, when you're growing up, you have all these stories of people telling you and you see things that are happening, but, and then you hear, you see things that are happening, but then, you know, because you're the youngest of four, you know, you usually have, um, um, you know, last day and everything. And they, and for my case, it was always kind of like, hush, hush, Johnny, go in the other room. It's like, you, you, you're not privy to listening and hearing this. Or... You know, oh, this is what really happened. That didn't really happen. This is what really happened, Johnny. <laughs> hey, Giovanni. I'm always calling Johnny. Johnny. That's how I got Johnny. John. 
again shout out this the scenario of what happened to me and how I got to this country with my family, with these people and how um how I grew up and and how I felt like literally the outsider in this whole family and for the entire the entire it, the point where where, 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 where where the entirety of the situation became very clear to me, which was the age of 11, 12. Uh, soon after that, I started doing plant medicine, and all of a sudden, it's like, oh my God, it's in your face. <laughs> These people are nothing like you. The, the, the stories that they say, there's not a fucking picture of me before the age of five. There's a whole, there's a whole <laughs> library of stuff that I that I that I that I, that I regressed to and, and remembered and 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 brought up. And they're in different videos. I have a, video, a playlist. My family shit. And it's, it's in there. But I don't want to go through every one. But I, I have I have determined without a shadow of a doubt in my mind that these people are not... I'm not sure what it is. It's like they don't want to tell you what it is. And this is, and this is the, 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 the irony of an Italian family. And, and really, uh, Europeans in general do this, I think. But definitely the Italians, uh, this is a custom of theirs, is to lie to a person instead of telling them the truth because they think that the truth might hurt them so much that just lie to him, it's better off he doesn't know. That whole scenario goes all the way down to the, your, your fucking deathbed. They, they, they told me that, that, that the guy that was, that was supposed to be my father, and I don't believe him was my father, uh, he, he, when he, he died of cancer at the age of 67. He was in suffering, and they they took me at the hospital, right, in the southern Italy, in Lamente, a little southern town in in, 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 in southern Italy, a little a beach community in southern Italy. This, <laughs> they, in the hospital, they did not tell him he was dying. Meanwhile, he was dying. Now, you're in a hospital bed. You think you'd want to know if you're dying, right? They didn't, and so every day you go there, and, you know, we spent like, like a week there, just like seeing him just before he died. And, and, and then he ended up. I, I was supposed to go there just to stay for two weeks to see, like, you know, if something's going to happen. He, yeah, and then we ended up going for a week, and then he died. Up. I, I, that mysteriously, about a week after we got there. And this, it always blows, blows my mind because we're planning to say two weeks before he died or after. We're going to we're gonna see him before. Yes, we were living in, in, in New York, so we went to Italy, and, and we saw him there for. For, and it was supposed to be two weeks and just, just every day going to the hospital and seeing them shooting them up with morphine shooting up with morphine more morphine more morphine more morphine bam bam like they have a couple minutes that 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 morphine please he was in agonizing pain he had cancer all through his body um, and he died and then then, then a, a week into it he died huh. miraculously man so then we we got to spend the other week the next week uh, doing you know the, the funeral in the, in the morning and all that other kind of stuff uh I didn't really cry. I didn't cry at all. I cried a little bit to, towards the, when they when they had him on the on the on the, 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 the slab of whatever. Cause they don't. It's 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 hard to explain. It's it's done a lot differently at funerals in the lead in here. In here. Um, so we um um. I didn't cry. I didn't feel nothing actually. Man. So 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 um. They don't tell you things in Italy, and they do it on purpose because they think. Meanwhile, you know the stupidity behind that, and the and the ignorance 